Used Toyota RAV4 Review A full-used buyer's guide on the Toyota RAV4 featuring the RAV4 MK3, 2006-2012, and the RAV4 MK4, 2013 date. When Toyota introduced the RAV4, Recreational Active Vehicle 4-Wheel Drive, in 1994, it effectively invented the compact SUV. And the brand probably didn't realize just what a phenomenon it would become. More than two decades later, most car makers have a small SUV in their model range, some have several. Meanwhile, Toyota is now on the fourth iteration of its RAV4, and the car is more luxurious and spacious than ever. So far it's also proving to be very reliable, as you'd expect from a manufacturer famed for its dependability. The RAV4 isn't a class leader when new, but it's still a strong choice in many ways with a 5-year warranty from new. Here we show you how to find a sound one used. Models covered. The Toyota RAV4 first went on sale in 1994 and is now in its fourth generation. We're focusing on the MK3, which was in production between 2006 and 2012, and the latest MK4 model in this review. Toyota RAV4 MK3, 2006 to 2012, long established SUV still makes a fine second hand buy. Toyota RAV4 MK4, 2013 date, latest version of the original compact SUV scores on reliability and quality. Toyota RAV4 MK4 History The fourth generation RAV4 reached UK showrooms in March 2013. At launch, there was a choice of a 2.0 petrol along with 2.0 or 2.2 liter D4D diesels. Buyers could pick between active, icon and invincible trims, but from January 2015, there was a business edition, too, based on the active. Initially, the 2.0 D4D came in front-wheel drive only, from January 2014 there was a four-wheel drive option. At the same time, the Icon and Invincible got extra kit and more optional driver assistance systems. A facelift in December 2015 brought a new 2.0-liter diesel engine, an exterior redesign and an overhauled cabin, while Excel trim replaced Invincible. A month later, the RAV4 Hybrid arrived, combining a 2.5-liter petrol engine with an electric motor. Which one should I buy? All petrol engine models are four-wheel drive automatics, while the 2.2-liter diesel RAV4S have four-wheel drive, but there's a choice of manual or auto gear boxes. All hybrids are autos and the 2.0 diesel gets a manual gearbox, but both of these come with a choice of front or four-wheel drive. Toyota doesn't skimp on standard equipment, even the entry-level active features 17-inch alloy wheels, Bluetooth, aircon, privacy glass and heated mirrors. The Icon also has a powered tailgate, 18-inch wheels, touchscreen multimedia, folding door mirrors, cruise control, sport seats and automatic wipers. Invincible spec adds leather trim, heated front seats, rear parking sensors and keyless go. Alternatives to the Toyota RAV4 MK4 while the Audi Q3 and Volkswagen Tiguan are at the more expensive end of the spectrum and very capable, well-built and come with excellent engines, they're also rather clinical. In terms of driving enjoyment, build quality, standard equipment, and smart styling, you'll have to go a long way to beat the Mazda CX-5. This car has an excellent reliability record, too. The Ford Kuga is also dynamically accomplished and decent value, Plus there are lots to choose from, many of which are top spec examples. Nissan's Cash K is another cracker that's good to drive, plentiful and well equipped. What to look for? Interior. The cabin is a winner in terms of practicality, as the seats are comfortable and there's plenty of space front and rear. But the dash design isn't in keeping with the Toyota's asking price, it looks a bit outdated, while some of the plastics feel disappointingly flimsy. Boot space is good, though, at 547 liters or 501 liters for hybrid models. Tire pressure. 
Problems with the tire pressure monitoring display are usually because the system hasn't been set up properly after new tires have been fitted. Lights Some light condensation can form inside the headlamp glass, but it should disappear very soon after the headlights have been switched on. Rattles Some owners have reported rattles and vibrations that appear to be a failed dual mass flywheel it's usually just the exhaust or the manifold cover. Spare wheel a tire repair kit was only offered at launch, but Toyota changed this to a space saver following customer feedback, so make sure you check any purchase. Running costs All RAV4S have to be serviced every 12 months or 10,000 miles for private owners, fleet users can stretch the latter to 12,500 miles. The first checkup costs 180 pounds and after that, the services alternate between minor and major, priced at a hefty £330 and £390 respectively. However, when these cars reach 5 years old, they're entitled to cut price maintenance, with service costs dropping to £100 and £180 respectively. The brake fluid needs to be replaced every 2 years, while coolant has to be changed after 100,000 miles then every 50,000 miles, these are both included in the relevant major service. Luckily there are no cam belts to worry about. Recalls Toyota has an unrivaled reputation for making reliable cars, and the current RAV4 has proven this, as it's yet to be recalled. Since this version of the compact SUV arrived in spring 2013, Several Toyotas have been called back, but most are cars built up to a decade earlier. Across all four generations of RAV4, nine recalls have been issued in all. Potential glitches included tire damage and airbag faults, plus the accelerator pedal issue that hit Toyota's range in 2010. But the latest car's record is unblemished. Driver Power Owner Satisfaction the latest RAV4 enjoyed a strong debut in our driver power satisfaction survey, ranking 29th in 2015. This year, it fell to 39th. Apart from a rating of 114th for running costs, the Toyota finished in the top half across the board, including 20th for reliability, 25th for practicality and 30th for build quality. Verdict Over the years, the RAV4 shifted further up market as the focus moved more towards luxury and away from off-road ability for those on a budget. Although that has helped Toyota's profits, it's also pitched the car squarely against a raft of very talented compact subs, each of which is also much more capable on the road. However, if you do need to tackle rough terrain, the Toyota is surprisingly adept off the beaten track. Plus, all RAV4S come with a 5-year warranty as standard, so any car you buy will currently come with the balance of the manufacturer's cover. A full-used buyer's guide on the Toyota RAV4 featuring the RAV4 MK3, 2006-2012, and the RAV4 MK4, 2013 date. As the third-generation car launched in 2006, it's now getting rather long in the tooth, and there are better small subs around. It's showing in this year's driver power survey, where it finished 123rd, indicates that all too well. But as you'd expect of a Toyota, reliability is still a strong point, even if running costs can be high. Toyota RAV4 MK3 History The RAV4 MK3 hit dealers in February 2006 in 2.0 VVTi, petrol, or 2.2 D4D, diesel, forms. The petrol engine was offered with 5-speed manual or 4-speed auto gearboxes, the diesel came in 140, 134 bhp, or 180, 175 bhp, forms, both with a 6-speed manual. A high-spec XTR edition arrived in January 2008, six months before the sporty 2.2 D4D SR180. From September 2009 the 2.2 D4D engine got an automatic option, plus a boost to 148 bhp, while the 2.0 VVTi was replaced by a more efficient 2.0 valve-matic unit, 
offered in 4WD CVT or FWD manual forms. A 2010 facelift brought styling changes, and the trim options were cut to only XTR and SR, with extra kit for the former. Which one should I buy? Toyota has only offered this RAV4 as a 5-door, with most buyers choosing the 2.2 diesel. This muscular, frugal engine provides towing and cruising abilities the petrol units can't match, but it's not generally as reliable. The manual gearbox is nicer to use than the VMATIC CVT, although the regular auto, 2.0 VVTi and 2.2 DCAT, is okay. All RAV4S get alloys, heated mirrors, aircon, electric windows and a CD slash tuner. XT4 trim adds an electric sunroof, dual zone climate control, multifunction steering wheel and leather trim, while the XT5 also has sat NAV, cruise control, automatic lights and wipers plus heated front seats. The range topping T180 brings sportier trim with run flat tires and 18 inch alloys, so it rides more firmly than lesser editions. Alternatives to the Toyota RAV4 MK3 The Cash K has been an incredible success for Nissan thanks to its reliability, ease of driving and user friendliness. If you need something bigger, simply look at the brand's X-Trail. Other subs you should consider include Honda CRV, which is very easy to live with if a bit soulless. Ford's Kyuga is more fun and it's tremendous value and plentiful. VW's Tiguan is clinical, efficient, and highly capable. Also, the often overlooked Volvo XC60 is worth a glance, as it's safe, stylish, and well-equipped. Finally, don't forget the Land Rover Freelander too. While it doesn't have the best reliability record, it offers a strong image and is superb off-road. What to look for? Steering. Clonking from the steering suggests a worn intermediate shaft. However, it could also be a slightly loose wheel nut, so try these first. Gaskets. Head gaskets can fail on the diesel engine, so check for misfiring along with signs of a white emulsion on the underside of the oil filler cap. Engine. Oil consumption can be very high before Toyota will say that there's a fault with an engine as much as 1 liter every 1,000 miles is acceptable. Headlights A lot of owners aren't impressed with the standard fit headlights which is why many have switched to Osram Nightbreaker bulbs, as these are brighter. Interior There's plenty of room for 4, 5 if kids are in the back, and the front seats are supportive with plenty of adjustment. The steering adjusts for reach and rake, too, and the rear seats fold flat to create an even load bay. Boot space is good at 586 liters with the seats up, or 1469 liters when they're folded. Running costs. All RAV4S need some maintenance every 12 months or 10,000 miles, with services generally alternating between minor and major. However, there's also a major and check every 4, 6, or 8 years depending on spec. A minor service is pegged by Toyota at 149 pounds, a major at 239 pounds and a major and at 299 pounds, dealers can charge less if they want to. As all RAV4 engines are chain driven, there are no timing belts to replace. However, the brake fluid should be renewed every other year at 39 pounds, while the aircon should be cleaned each year for 15 pounds, a full refresh of the system every two years is recommended, at 60 pounds. Fresh coolant is required every 10 years, at 80 pounds. Recalls There have been four MK3 recalls, the first in February 2010. Cars from February 2009 to January 2010 could suffer from the throttle pedal not returning to idle, there were no crashes, though. Some pre-August 2010 RAV4S had a faulty rear suspension arm, Toyota recalled them in September 2012. A window switch short circuit in September 2006 to December 2008 cars led to an October 2012 recall. The most recent action came in April 2014, 
Some RAV4S made up to November 2008 had faulty airbags. Driver Power Owner Satisfaction For a car that debuted over a decade ago, a 123rd placing in this year's driver power survey shouldn't be a surprise. Practicality and build quality are the highlights, 54th and 72nd respectively, but 146th for running costs, 140th for in-car technology and 133rd for ride quality are disappointing. Verdict Few people buy an SUV of any size to take it off-road, but if that's what you want to do the RAV4 makes more sense than many of its rivals as it's surprisingly accomplished in the rough. If you take this route, make sure you buy one of the torquey diesel engine versions and opt for four-wheel drive instead of a front-wheel drive example. We've always liked the RAV4S blend of usability and reliability, yet it's never been a pace setter when it comes to driving pleasure or used value. Strong residuals mean you'll pay more for a second-hand RAV4 than for many of the alternatives. But if you want a car that's easy to own, look no further.